Hey guys and welcome to The Sims 4. Last time we retired our friend Kirk here and Emily's pregnant again. I don't know why I got her pregnant again. Uh, I'm a glutton for punishment I guess. When's this little dude aging up? He is aging up in two days. Um, ugh. That's all I can say with that. Ugh. Um, so, hang on. Everybody's off work. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Everyone's off. Um, what should I do then? Um, Kirk is living the last of his days. So let's get done what we can get done. He wants his logic skill six. Wake up. Um, what's going to help with his logic skill? Does this help with logic? Oh, it doesn't. Um, uh, can you play this? Chess. Is there a chess option? There is not. God sakes. Um, do I have a logic? I have a logic level one. Should we buy him? A telescope. Let's buy him a telescope. Or should we buy a chess set to go? Should we put the bin here? No, the bin shouldn't go there. Oh, oh there, put the bin there. Hopefully that's all right. We will soon see. Um, let's get a chess chess table for them. Um, Perfect. Nice comfort with chairs. Um I want something like funky. Play some chess. There you go. Play some chess, get level six. I want to at least get his nerd brain finish. Okay, he's had time up here. Oh, the little one's awake! Hey, little man! He is in dying need of loo. Go to loo. Go party. Wake up. I want you to play train and then I want to give you um, a bubble bath, please. He's nearly level six. Yay! He's reached level six. Okay, so what do you do? Launch or upgrade a rocket? Oh, for God's sake, Kirk. For God's sake, I don't think I've got, I don't even think I've got space for a rocket ship. Do I have that? Right, he can't do this now. We'll just get into logic 10. <gasps> oh my god! 
I mean, would there be even be space for a rocket ship? I don't think there would be. Oh, dude, you can just do whatever you want. You are a free man. Do as you please. Do as you see fit, okay? Um, let me open and get some food out for the little one. And he can have a spinach retarder. I had an accident. Go on, clean up. Mop. I grab a seven of them. And you can grab a seven as well. There we go. Does that need cleaning? It doesn't need cleaning. That's good. That is good. Seven's so gonna eat. Soaked from the toddler. Oh. Um, there was no washing in, that's okay. Dad is okay, there's no washing in. Okay, let's get him to do some upgrades, maybe. Plumbing. Plumbing upgrades. Okay, I'm missing some plumbing upgrades. I want to upgrade the toilet, at least. So, what's he going in his pockets? I want to sell everything in his pockets. Because it's everything we're already growing now. Um, put it in to conserve it down there. Oh, Kirk, 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 it's Geek Con. Here, come on. Time to Geek Con. You can go by yourself. Oh, this is the perfect timing. We could do some rocket stuff. A doll hammer. How many are we going to get done? But we won't want a rocket. No. But let's do an excursion on a rocket at least. Like the game knew how desperate I was. <laughs> it knew, it knew I was super desperate. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> hey, where we at? Geek on. Hey, <laughs> the pups are pit. Explore face. Come on, let's go and explore some space. <laughs> okay. He can build and upgrade rocket ships faster. Cool. Derelict vessel. Kirk sees a large ship floating silently ahead. It looks abandoned or at least very poorly maintained. Should Kirk try to burn it and see what's inside? I'll just use a robotic gun to collect some spare parts. Uh, gather parts. Did you gather some parts? Oh, you gathered some parts. Nice. I'm still gonna sell stuff. I don't think we'll ever get to the point where he can own his own rocket, but I will try. <laughs> Grab and go. Oh, hex no. Kirk's not getting on that ship. That's how sci-fi horror movies start. Also, there's nothing on there but rogue viruses, hibernating alien monsters, or something even more horrible. He gathers a few pipes and widgets from outside and gets away, but anything terrible can happen. So I'll die my plumbing parts now then. Is that what you sent me? Um, he's lovely. He can now expand fuel storage tanks for rockets. Cool. Right, right, let's upgrade London stabilizers. Let's do that. At least. What did you get? 
Oh, I got them. I got them. Oh, the Grim Reaper's having a good time. One of five. Let's explore space again. Okay, cool. Gate comes the gun, but it's fine. We are upgrading. You guys can't go to space. I'm sorry. He's level 5, he can upgrade to improve maneuvering thrusters on rockets. Nice! Okay. So we're going to do. Technical difficulties. Kirk is off on another amazing adventure in space. Or he would be if a ship were actually moving, which it's not. Oh no. Oh my god. Update. Does that mean he's coming back? That's sakes. Oh, hey, yeah. when Kirk clicks the update button to update the Dinorthan drivers, a helpful message appears saying the request cannot be completed because the Dinorthan drivers have not been updated. Uh, let's reboot them. Okay, ah, yes, turn it off and then back on. Then preferred tech solution of profession. Professional rocket scientists everywhere. The dying northern sputter and a new message appears. You don't do shut down properly. Would you like to restart? Yes. It's just a yes. Explore this. Uh, an asteroid is rocking towards it. Try to blast it. Success. The asteroid shatters into fragments which burn up harmless in depth. Kirk is able to grab some fragments that blast this. Cool. I need you to explore space again, Kirk. One more time. And then we will work on trying to anyone. Pokaboo, where are you? Kirk stares down the formidable tower on a red planet. The cosmetic relief dog pound isn't just a fable, it's real. Kirk is searching for Mrs. Frozen Puddin's Pokaboo, a prize prize of a space that could bring big bucks on the black market. It will bring big bucks to Kirk too if he brings it home and scares. Okay, let's enter the pound. Welcome to the pound. Uh, packs his rocket ship and goes into the pound. The alien at the front desk raises an eye and says, Drop filed. And they make an excuse. Don't tell them the truth. That's sakes. Mmm. Well, it looks like even the pound has its processes. Having made up a story about losing his mother, Kirk fills out his 13 forms while waiting for an escort to the cages. He is handing them in when he notes a small red leech, much like in Fitz's photo, sticking out the box under the desk. What now? Investigate the cages, I think. What else can we do? Sell you. Who are you? DNA. We'll get rid of his DNA. Kirk is escorted down a long hallway by a grumpy looking guard. He shows Kirk into the examination room and explains that he'll need a baby shot if he wants to get near the animals. Yeah, let's have an injection. Why not? It's probably like a trap. Pairs. 
the spare stalk should stick out. The guard injects Kirk's arm with a long shiny needle, then leads him into the pound, which consists of floor after floor of caged beasts. Mostly large, growl in the earth mud's first sixty nine floors. The guard says Kirk can start looking for fits or look for a way back to the leash of the front end. Uh, search the cages. Speed up because this is really finished now. Oh, waste of time. Oh, never mind. Okay. So now we just need to have the money to buy a rocket, which I don't think we'll get. If I'm being perfectly honest with myself, I don't think he'll live long enough. Is there something I can get him to do to make lots of money? I mean... Sell all. Oh, you need to sleep. Go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep first. Okay, how are you, little man? He's okay. How are you? You're tired as well. Everyone is just super tired except this little man. What do you want to do? Nothing. Okay. How about we play a bit of block baby? Play a bit of block baby. Yeah. dishwasher, give food to Charles, a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, okay upgrade, did we get a plumbing upgrade? Darn it. Yeah, wake up. Wake up and upgrade this. Charles to sleep. No, we're not doing anything like that, okay? And then, can I have you use how a duffel shower? Fine, don't do it. If you don't want to do it, don't make excuses. Get leftovers and then sleep. Let's have you just uh, sleep, okay? And have everybody ready another day tomorrow. Um, we've got to figure out how to make money. Actually, why you go to bed? I don't know how many there are of these actually. We'll just open them all up. Oh, no. Collections. Okay, we're missing one, two, three, four, five. We're missing five. Okay, fine. Cool. I don't particularly want to keep the meat at all. But, um, hold dishwasher and go to sleep. 
and I'll see you all next time guys. Bye.